Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tori, if you're new here, and today we are going to be in the garden. It's a little bit of a change of scenery, but I wanted to show you my garden plans and what I plan to do with my survival seeds and things outside and in and around the homestead. So I know that's a mouthful, but I truly think everyone has a way to garden. You just have to get creative. So we're gonna talk about different ways that I like to plant items. And I wanna show you the three sisters method of planting. Uh, I know that was a big interest. I'm very excited. This is now my third year doing it. I thought it was my second, but I forgot I did it unsuccessfully a while back. So I've done it three years. And I think it's a great way to plant items and it's just a gorgeous day. So I'm gonna take you around and kind of show you what we have going on right now and then what I plan to do today. I am taking it easy. Uh, I'm, you know, 38 weeks pregnant here. So I'm trying my best. I have my helper out here with me while his sister naps and it's just gonna be a fun day. I wanted to do something different on the channel just so I could get up and walk around and kind of show some new people what we do on our small property because we don't really have a lot of room here. So let me get you turned around and show you what we have going on currently. So last year, my husband built me this garden box out of a few pallets that we found for free. And in here right now, I just have tomatoes and basils. And I chose those two because they are going to be companion planting. And then around the edge, I'm going to do marigolds. That worked really well for me last year uh, to keep the insects at bay, but we shall see. So you can already see we have some basil coming through here. And then I do have some tomato right here. So I'm excited. I would say it took about seven to eight days of germination. We planted from seed out here. It is past our frost date here, so we should be fine, but you always want to make sure that you are looking up your zone. We are 5B and looking up the frost date because that could really you know, kill a lot of what you're planting. So we have that going on. And then we also have, what are these, buddy? Why is there no potatoes? I don't see them inside. They're potatoes, so they hide underground there. And then we get a little bit more uh, leaf up here. I'm gonna let it get up a little higher and then we add some more compost. And then that's the same for these over here. They're kind of even just rising right now. So I might put some more compost on top of that today. We have red and we have uh, russet and then we have some gold and Cherokee purple. I'd like to put something in this area, but of course the chickens got to this. These are just grow bags that I've had for a few seasons. So that is what we're working with in this area. And I do want to put either another bed right here so we can trellis, but I'm not sure yet. We will see about that. I have my baby chicks out here as well, if you can hear them clucking in the background. And then this is just, uh, I guess, a model of what I built out of some cedar fence posts that were bowing. They were on sale and I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll keep this. I mean, it holds dirt, but I don't like the look of it. I just put it together really quickly so I could show my husband what I meant when I wanted to do the garden boxes. So these come out around, I think $21 per box and we need about seven of them. So I might be building some more boxes today. I'm not sure. We shall see. Another thing coming through are the lilacs. This is the first time in three years that this has flowered, but when we moved in, it was very small. So I think it will take another full season for them to be enough to collect, but we do have a lilac bush in the front. We like to make tinctures out of that. We like to make lemonades, different types of tea, all everything that you can think of. Over here in this area, we have some really large, uh, I guess, grow bags. So I think I'll put the rest of the potatoes in there. And then we have our smaller ones. So I put herbs in there and kind of line them up against the porch. And then over here, I have something that a company sent to me. It's a little smaller than what I wanted, but I think it will be a nice little lettuce garden or something like that, maybe some spinach. And then we have this fire ring that we used for the chickens last year. I think I'll just fill that with dirt and grow out of there. I think that's it for this area. I do have pineapple sage that will come through here. We like to use that for tinctures and teas. Our roses should be coming here soon. And then we also have our irises. So 
just have one iris the chickens came and took the tops off of those so they're really just beautiful to look at in my opinion i don't use them medicinally so we'll see and then our honeysuckle i'm not sure i don't know what will happen with that it usually comes back every year but we cut it back last year and i don't know if i ruined it but um it was an edible honeysuckle so again it was just something nice to look at but that's okay if it doesn't come back. Maybe we could plant some more roses there. And then I'm gonna take you over here. I think we are going to end up taking this fence down just because we have the chickens set up in their little area back here. I will say we are not an aesthetically pleasing homestead. We do what we can with what we have. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry. Uh, the chickens are back here now for the summer season. And then what we do is put down sod, sod rolls for the chickens so they can graze and things like that. They really enjoy doing that. So that's probably what we will be doing eventually here. But sometimes I let them out, they just wreak havoc on everything. So I might even just enclose them in this area. That way they can dust bath in their favorite spots. They have places to dust bath over there, but the ducks really enjoy their pond and they get territorial about their water. So that's another tricky thing. This is what the chickens have done out here. If you're interested in getting chickens and you don't keep them in their own space, this is what they do. So I don't know, that's up to you, but it's something that we need to fix because obviously it is a mess. And then these trees have died, but then they have these little I don't know, sprouts coming up that, I mean, there's really not a lot we can do. We ended up chopping them, my husband did, and you can see that one's dead. So I think we might plant some this year. We just need an arborist out here to tell us what will be good for our soil because we can't figure out anyone to tell us in our town that would be good for the soil back here. So Dolly, my head hen is mad because there's a dove eating her food but uh yes if you hear that clucking that's why um i usually put tomatoes here and i trellis them but i think i'm just gonna leave it because if we get those trees i don't want to disrupt anything so that will be good to go there and then this is the plan for three sisters so the three sisters planting method is essentially corn beans and squash and you can do any variety that you want so you do corn in the middle and you want that on a mound just like high up so that corn can get deep rooted and then you're going to have beans that trellis up the corn stalks and then underneath those beans you're going to do squash around it and it's from native american culture every i feel like a lot of tribes did it not every tribe a lot of tribes did it they specialized in different things but i am getting all of my info from a reservation down in montrose colorado and that is the Ute Reservation. And, you know, I've learned so much about them. I'm very interested in Native American culture. So I am trying my best to walk in their shoes because I feel like they were the foundation of planting, especially in Colorado, Utes were here majority. I feel like they would know the soil the best. So that is why I'm going off of there. So all I did was go to the museum and I drew what I saw on one of the books that I was reading and I've held on to that. It was my friend and I who went down probably seven years ago. So I've had it for a while, but that is my plan. And I will show you how I have it laid out right now in this bed. I have some compost and I also have some soil and I tested it, that one is good to go. So we do have some soil that we just bought from Lowe's just because of budget constraints. Sometimes it's really expensive to find organic soil, I'm not gonna lie to you. So that is where we're at with that. So three sisters will go right there. And again, it's gonna be corn, beans, squash. I think we are going to do pole beans, obviously, because they'll trellis up, whereas bush beans aren't going to trellis, they're going to be in a bush. So we have both varieties. Uh, so we'll do pole beans in there, we'll do some corn, and then on the bottom, we're gonna do pumpkins and probably spaghetti or acorn squash. We do it all, honestly. So it really just depends what I have in my seed arsenal. I kind of just have to check it out. But yeah, that is what we're doing today. I have two more things to show you and then we're gonna get to planting. And then back in this area, I have snapdragons that really just take up everything here. It's gorgeous. 
And then we also have echinacea that comes through here, purple cone flower, and then uh, sunflowers. I planted them the first year I was here and kind of just drug them around the entire property uh, and let the seeds fall. So every year it's a surprise where the sunflowers are coming from, but it's a fun surprise for me. So sunflowers are one of my favorite flowers. It reminds me of my mom and that is why I love them so much. You can also do a lot with sunflowers. So right here is fine. I think we might even just line this with some black poppy. Uh, that's medicinal for us and I started it uh, I'd say two and a half months ago, maybe two months ago. So that's up here and then we also have peppers up here the peppers look real sad but we're gonna go we're gonna give them a shot i mean why not and then those are the poppies they need to go outside for sure so that is what is happening i just wanted to take you through a tour quick show you what's going on and i think that's all we're gonna do besides fill this guy with some dirt and get it ready for a tower garden for strawberries and that's actually going to go right here. Um, that way I can anchor it and then tie it to something. I think it's the best place for it. So that is what's going on today. Hope you're ready to come plant with us. I got that dirt cleared out right there and then over here I have dirt so my idea is just to get it cleaned out and then start the beds in the front and work our way back it might take us a few weeks to afford the lumber for this but again they're just cedar fence posts so I like them because they're rot proof and they're cheap so they work uh, my mom made a good point it doesn't have to be this beautiful thing as long as it can grow and I have successfully grown in the past so we should be just fine, but I'm gonna check in the garage here and see what we have. So we have this from the chicken coop and I think I'm gonna build one long one and then another long one. And if it's still not enough, I might just build some long right here. And then these garden bags can kind of go, I don't know, one or the other here. I'm building boxes because we would like to sell the house at some point. So I think it would just look nicer if we had wooden boxes. I don't think it matters if they're mismatched, but we shall see. So I'm going to saw a few pieces off the end here, just so, I don't know, there's some more room. I might even add just one more to get it higher. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. I'll show you, I don't know, maybe process, but probably when we're done here. <laughs>
Alrighty, it is the end of the night and I figured you could see it just a little easier if I give you an aerial view. So I'm up here upstairs and this is what we came up with. So two longer boxes, as you can see right there is where I started struggling. And honestly, I think I took on too much for 38 weeks pregnant um, with the two kids at home. It just made it extremely frustrating slash difficult today. And like I said, we didn't want to buy anything new. So I used what we had on hand. I looked up the wood. It should be just fine. No chemicals or anything like that. Uh, you might want to do that if you're worried about it leaching into your soil. But yeah, let me sit down and chat with you. I think we'll just move this box closer after I finish it. Put that situation the silver box in the back there with that and then we'll do trellises which is another thing that is on my mind because cattle panels are super expensive as well and I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible I have not found anything on Facebook marketplace or Craigslist yet but fingers crossed for me Okay, I'm at another angle in my room here, so it's getting a little dark. I'm trying to chase the light, but uh, let me see here if it will focus on me. I'm not sure. I might have to change settings. I'll be right back. Okay, so once we went over the garden and all the prices and all that stuff, I do still want to include in this video like my top five seeds that I would plant, uh, not in a survival garden, but just in general that I've had success with. And of course, this list is going to be different for everyone. I will say in this video, I don't need um, all the things I did wrong in the garden or all the things that I should have done differently. Constructive criticism is great. I think um, if you can receive it, uh, go you. But when you have close to, you know, 8,000 people watching. I'm saying that because my views are down, so I don't know how many people truly watch my videos, but um, if you have that many people watching and then that many people commenting, it gets so overwhelming um, sometimes. So in this video, I have chose to do what I want and this is what I'm doing and sticking with. So please don't take that offensively. This is just uh, me kind of venting right now uh, when it came to the garden because it was overwhelming today and I did the best that I could with what I had, which um, I'm proud of myself for persevering, but there was a lot of emotions in building a garden box and it could be hormones from pregnancy. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm not really sure the channel. Let's let's chat about it. I it's really difficult for me to do 3 to 4 videos a week all about five things that you should stockpile because we could go through that, but it gets redundant for me. It gets boring for you. So I like to take you in the into the garden sometimes and I feel like I'm sacrificing a lot on the channel when I do that because no one watches those videos, but I need to change it up every once in a while. So I'm going to include like a top five in here. I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but please know that the titles, I've talked about it before, the titles, they seem to be daunting for some people. They seem to be threatening. Um, and I don't mean them to be. That is the opposite of where I'm at in my prepping journey. Um, unfortunately, that is just how videos uh, get seen and how they get ranked and I'm trying to grow a channel I'm trying to run a business so that is where my head's at with uh, the titles and everything so yeah I think that's all I wanted to say about that but my top five seeds um, for me personally definitely corn uh what else would I say I would say a green that you can grow easily spinach and lettuce is super easy to grow and kale is very hardy so that could last you for a long time so I would suggest a green I would suggest picking up a pole bean or a bush bean depending on which one you want I would suggest doing some sort of grain. So um, I've done amaranth. I want to try quinoa this year. You could do wheat, uh, really anything there. I would do um, one of your favorites. So I'm going to throw tomatoes in there because they're awesome. And uh, you can do a lot with them. And they are easy to be preserved. So that's a big thing about gardening. A lot of people ask why you plant so many seeds. And uh 
what are you going to do with all that food? There's many things you can do with that food. You can give it away. You can eat it on your own if you know how to preserve your own food, which is key when it comes to gardening. You can do that with it. So I think that was four things. And then number five, I would pick a brassica, something hearty like broccoli or um, cauliflower would be a good one. Something that has some good nutrients in it and something that can last you throughout the season because not everyone likes their greens and not everyone can consume greens and that's a little tricky as well. So if you are gardening and you're wondering what seeds you should keep, those are definitely my top five. Please let me know some of your favorite seeds that you like to grow in the garden and I think that's it. Yeah. So we're going to close it out here. Again, I'm having a hard time with videos lately, not filming them, but coming up with ideas for you. So you got to tell me what you want to see because, um, you know, I have a whole list of ideas for my motherhood and lifestyle and homesteading channel. If you didn't know, we have another channel like that. That pours out of me. That's easy for me. But when it comes to prepping, I don't want to bore all of you. And um, I do have one coming up this week and that's all about what my husband thinks you should prep as a law enforcement officer and some things that he keeps on hand. So I thought that would be interesting, but I'm running out of ideas here. I guess I'm at a creative block and typically, um, well, not typically, but I haven't come on the channel this vulnerable in a while because people attack you. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want like pity in the comments or anything, but I'm just, again, I'm running out of ideas. I, I don't know what kind of videos y'all want to see. So, um, let me know if you're even seeing these videos, because, uh, if you don't have your notifications turned on, you might not be alerted, but that goes down another rabbit hole. Prepping channels are kind of being shadow banned right now. So if you do never see anything on this channel or maybe you think I like disappeared, definitely search me. It's possible that YouTube has uh, unsubscribed you to the channel. That's happened to me before. Um, but always check in on Tori Patton Motherhood and Lifestyle channel because I'm always uploading over there as well. You can follow me on the other socials, but I have been not very active on there, kind of taking a step back just because I don't want to be on my phone all day. And uh, I think it's really important that uh, the kids have me face to face right now. And uh, I think, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to say, but Again, let me know what you want to see. Let me know your favorite seeds. I hope you enjoyed today. We didn't get everything accomplished that I wanted to, but you get the gist. So let me know if you want to see more gardening content. I would love that. It's honestly where my heart is when it comes to being on the homestead be, besides cooking and my kids. Um, I love being in the garden. It changes your attitude. Building the garden is a little tricky, but um you know, if you just have some patience, which I had a lack of today, then you will be just fine. So if you're new here, love it if you would hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, it does really mean a lot. It, it does a big thing for myself and my family. And um, even if you just comment an emoji, that would be so helpful right now. So as always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye everyone.